we have to remind, we have to make this personal for each and every individual. We have to talk about what matters to them. For me, it's college affordability. For another young Latino, it might be the issue of the Dream Act. It might be the issue of healthcare. You have to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation so they see how this, how this campaign and this election in, impacts them personally. A really great example is that in June, the Democrats in Congress uh, were, were fighting against Republicans to prevent the doubling of the student loan interest rate from 3.3% to 6.8%. If the Republicans have gotten their way, every college student in America would be paying literally tens of thousands of dollars more in interest rates. That's a really tangible example of continuing to advocate for our president how you're going to be better off and why we continue to stand with them. Your prediction? Will, will young people stay at home or will they go to the polls? Young people are going to come out in record numbers once again. The young Latino community is going to come out once again in record numbers and we're going to get this president re-elected.